guys, this is FeedFrey91, and as this FTC, Microsoft, or Xbox trial goes on, apparently Jim Ryan has now entered the ring in a sense. I don't know what to call it. Maybe like what they say, entered the chat? Yeah, because Jim Ryan actually gave a deposition. I'm not going to go about the whole deposition. You guys can read the whole thing. I'll put the link in the description below. But in this deposition, I want to specifically talk about what he says here. I talk to all the publishers and they unanimously do not like Game Pass because it is value destructive. Okay, listen, I'm going to try to be as objective here as possible. I'll admit I like Game Pass. I like that it's like Netflix for games. I've been, in fact, on my YouTube channel, I believe I've made videos where before Game Pass actually came out where I pointed out that a subscription service or like a gaming subscription service needed to be like Netflix for games. And that's basically what Game Pass is. It's kind of like Netflix for games. I'm, I'm not even going to talk about liking Game Pass or whether it's good or not, right? But the fact that he said he talked to all the publishers and they unanimously do not like Game Pass. Um, here's the thing with that statement. I'm not going to say he's lying. I'm just saying that's a little fishy. Now, why I'm saying that's a little fishy is because it's very... I don't know how many publishers you talk to. I got to be honest, because at least on this IGN part, it doesn't tell me whether he, spoke, he said how much publishers he talked to. But it is very hard, just in general. I know this in general. It's very hard, even with something that's mostly unliked, to get everybody unanimously, he said unanimously, to say they do not like it. Because if you have, like, let's just say 100 people, and you have something in front of you, an item, maybe a game even, that most people do not like, right? If you don't ask the people together, because you know some people some, sometimes are pressured into saying they don't like something when they do because the, the crowd doesn't like it. If you ask them individually, it is usually very hard to get them to all 100 say they don't like something. Like I said, it could be anything really, a game, a food, anything. You're almost always going to at least find that one person who likes something that most people don't like. So this statement in and of itself, all I'm saying is it is fishy. So I know Jim Ryan is PlayStation boss, at least uh, of the U.S., I guess, part of it. But I just got to say that's a fishy statement. Like if he even said most of the publishers, okay? But he said all pu the publishers... And but he said unanimously. So I'm not saying he's lying, but I'm just saying the statement's fishy. But, but what do you guys think about Jim Ryan's statement? Let me know in the comments. And if, and if you read the whole, like his whole deposition, or at least what IGN put up of it, let me know what you think of it in general. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.